my Twitter feed, 75% recipe requests. I could write you the worst recipe for an omelet. And as long as what came out looked like an omelet, felt like an omelet, tasted like an omelet, it worked. It's an omelet, ain't it? So I don't even like the word work. There's no way for a recipe writer to cover enough variables to get things done 100% right. perfectly. I tried once as an exercise for myself to write a recipe for a souffle for aliens who didn't know what eggs were <laughs> and never been to planet Earth. And I gave up at 20 pages single spaced because I realized this can't be done. We've got no, if you've got no context, no shared experience, you simply can't do it. It's, right. it's difficult. I probably would have ended up at about a 100 page recipe. I've always thought of recipe writing more as cartography. Mm -hmm. I want to get you as close to a spot Okay, we're not just going to go to Omeletteville, we're going to go to this latitude and longitude. And if the recipe truly functions well, it will put you in a place where you can survey the rest of the landscape around you. It's so like what I try to do is, is not only are we going to get the omelet down, you're also going to glean uh, knowledge that you will be able to use for other like applications in this right. neighborhood. So, you want, so you'll be able to know how you got to that specific omelet and how you could get to a different omelet if you wanted to. No. No, no, no. no. That's simply <laughs> a changing of the destination. Okay. I want you to understand the landscape enough so that you've learned something that will allow you to then take it over to a souffle.